What is going on, guys? It is Donodox, and welcome to episode five of The Outer Worlds. We're back, and I've done some massive changes. Let me show you. We have upgraded my person. He's got some great armor now. Like, my armor is so much better. And I've actually made Pavati better. Look at her now. Look at her now. She has a better gun. And I've also got better armor for her as well. We're going to put a nine helmet on her as well. Just, just so she's got a little bit better armor. Because she was really struggling. <laughs> look at her. Oh, let me see. Something oh, right. So her helmet still does go away. Uh, but... But her helmet is on her while we are playing. Right, so now that Pavati is a little bit more going to be useful, we're going to now carry on our journey. So I didn't actually get to level up because I never got a chance to, but I've just decided I can actually fast travel. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go to the journal a second and we're going to accept the frightening engineer now because that's because we're going to enter Edgewater now. And just go and get his thing first. Because it's just so much easier. And there's no walking to be had. Because we can fast travel. I forgot you could fast travel. Once you do the quests and stuff. Once you've been to that area. So yeah we're going to quickly head into the engineer's volume. And take the supply that he needs. And then he'll give us money for it. And hopefully it will level us up. And then we'll be able to go and talk to that marauder. And then put our dialogue up. Which is something we should have done ages ago. He's still crawling with them things though. That's one of the journals. I need to go get the other journal. So guys, a little update on my the way things are going to work now. Uh, because I'm obviously getting near the end of this now, I want to get it done quick. And the only way to do that... There's enemies around? Really? I don't see any enemies. Oh, we can't fast travel. God damn it. But yeah, a lot of skipping is going to start happening now for quests like this where there's no fighting enemies because... Boring of walking around is 130 meters away. Uh, okay, map. I can travel. Hey, right. Is that is that where I need to go? Let's go to the plant. I think this will get is who we're going to be talking to. Engineering volume two. There we go. Well, the plant doesn't have any robots in it anymore because we made sure of that. Yeah, I hope I get a lot of money for this quest and I hope it levels me up. That's what I'm trying to do here. I could have picked this up before to be fair. Saved all the trouble. Pew, pew, pew! Yeah, not much is really happening in this episode, is there? I'm just grabbing manuals. Because we've already fought all the enemies. And we got them all! Clever. Uh, I just took some stuff. You didn't see. Right. Map. Let's get a fast travel down. And let's head back to the bio cup. This is so much easier just traveling around. Do things so quick now. I got the journals. Are you going to level me up now? Any luck finding one of those manuals? Finding one? I found all three, mate. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Which one? The geo yeah. plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Of course I did. Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanics. Yeah, I killed them all. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. One data pad's enough to guide me down my newfound path. Just remember, I got something saved for you if you find me all three. I've got all three. Hold on, I've got one more. Don't keep me in suspense. Look at that! Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart! Oh, almost forgot your payment. I'm not done! Well, don't keep me in suspense. Ain't that just ironical? If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Good, now ask for buddy. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. 
Oh, you have an electrical charge service. I want to ask you something. What's on your mind? How long have you lived there? A couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. What were you in the wilderness? You won't survive without power and water. We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? I was let go. Mostly on account of my incompetence. I mean, I was incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. All right. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole and now it doesn't. You could stay, you know. Here. I'd be happy to... I mean, uh, we could really use... Uh, this isn't coming out right. Uh, if you want, Adelaide would make a place for you. Uh, you were sorry about it, I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. Uh, so don't work at the cannery. You wanted to be an engineer. You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. Yeah. It's just... Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater, and I'm as good as dead to her. Uh, why is that? Adelaide hates Edgewater. Hates everything Edgewater stands for. Hates what that town does to people. What it did to her. We're the nearest she's got to kin. We go back to Edgewater, we may as well have stuck a knife in her heart. Leave it behind, Edward and Nietzsche. Are you sure about this? If we head back to Edgewater on our own, Adelaide won't come with us. She'll stay here and curse us till the end of her days. Yeah. I expect we got no choice. Edgewater needs us back, and loath as I am to admit it, we need Edgewater. You okay with this, Grace? Zoe's still out there. Don't much care to leave her unaccounted. If you find her, could you let me know? We'll be waiting in Edgewater. Just give us some time to gather our personals and say our goodbyes. If you run into Reed, you tell him we're coming back, yeah? Oh, I did it! Hey, and I leveled up! Finally! Hey, right, here we go. Uh, um, yeah. Skills. I want to get Persuade up. Where is it? Dialogue? You're taking a piss, 29? I did find Zoe, actually. Back to the old cannery, huh? Don't know what else I expected. I'll tell you what I can. What is it? Alright. Okay, so... Have I got enough dialogue now to get Zoe to come back? Where is Zoe anyway? I want to finish this off. Convince Zoe to return. The long tomorrow. Turn in the medicine. So much to do. Who could respect? So let's just see. I am gonna have to walk there. That's a shame. I'll have to get there and go in as quick as possible. I want to test this out anyway. I want to find a monster and just, just blow them up, to be honest. Sure. I like her with a mask on. Kind of funny. Alright, let's go kill some monsters. I'm in the mood. There we go. Hey! 
Hey, dude! Let's snipe them from here. Oh, oh yes, I can. We're on the move. Oh, look at this. What is Kavati doing? Come on! Oh no! Oh, it's this guy again! Burn! Die! Got him! XP! Can we kill them all? But we never saw what was down there. So monsters respawn, but I don't think... I mean, Primal Hide's great to sell, so... I mean, can't beat what's over here then. Lots of good stuff. And when you kill monsters, you get some pretty cool stuff. I mean, I may as well go the shooty way. Make it a little bit interesting. And I'm inside it. I used to be scared of this guy. Not when you got a plasma gun like me, though. There we go! And as easy as that, more primal hides. Let's we clear them up. Yeah, all these marauders as well just got like loads of good stuff. But yeah, I think my skills are working better now. And everything's dead here, so shouldn't respawn and be alive again. You're literally just standing here doing nothing. Ever consider the marauder life? It's pretty sweet. It, oh, is it? You know, it's really annoying. You know what's like absolute troll right now? The fact. I didn't accept. Right. Do I have enough dialogue now? Ever consider the marauder life? It's pretty it's sweet. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty. Yes. Finally. No serial dramas. I've been thinking about going back. I just gotta know if Lord Cavendish really is the masked marketeer. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is gonna be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. I've did it! I did it! Could she be a partner? Look, I already bought what you were selling me. Just give me some time to gather up my personals. I did it! I did it! So, what are the, all of the quests left to do then? We're going to be able to do them all at once. So, comes the power, Stranger of a Strange Land, all going to be returned. Got to retrieve the power regulator though, haven't I? Still. Let's go and do that first. So, the nearest place to go to is the biochemical lab. My power regulator. I want it. It's mine. I deserve it. I deserve it. It's my power regulator. I'll go and get it if I want to. Thank you. See, we're doing all the quests at once. I'm just brilliant like that. I'm not in the lightest of humors right now. I talked to Zoe into coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. <laughs> what happened, anyway? She joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Of course. Let me know Thank if you. I can do something for you. I'm getting so much money by doing all these quests at once. Right, so let's go back to the journal. 
So now we've got the log tomorrow to complete. So everything's going straight back to Edgewater now. We've got to return to the unreliable. But that's the last quest. But comes the power, which got returned to Reed now. Do that one, get the money off Reed, and turn in the medicine. So everything leads back to Edgewater. This is too good. We get everything done at once. This is amazing. I've never done this in a game. I get all the side quests done at once. It's kind of cool. Let's go back. He is going to die, isn't he? I'm going for her. I've got some time. I've got the medicine you were after. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Good. Here. Something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. Oh, sorry. Charm. Never that harsh, at least. Leave me something to remember you by. Yeah, Charm, why not? You do have some cheek on you. Lucky for you, I kept a little contingency fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. Ah, I'm done. Wait, is she one of the companions? I appreciate what you've done, I swear she's one of the companions. Together. What do you do here? Oh, I'm an actuary. <laughs> That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Of course, what are you going to do? Is Somebody deserving. Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? All right. Right, well, that's another quest done. What's left on the list then? I think it's just. All sides are done. Go to power now, which is read. Where's read, 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 read? Ah, that's when it's read, when it's up there. Okay. Hi, Reed. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Uh, Adelaide won't come, but the followers will. That's good enough for me. Adelaide and I have a history. It was unlikely she'd ever come back. But hope springs eternal. We are in your debt. Good. I am authorizing you for a discount on all official Spacer's Choice products. Oh, nice. Courtesy of the people of Edgewater. Oh, yeah. By all means. Yeah, engineer. Thomas. Thomas Kemp? I remember him. Had to write him up for daydreaming a few too many times. Just give him a cramp. He tries real hard, Mr. Thompson. This is something he wants to do. That'll make him twice as good. I will give him a chance to impress me. If he knows his way around a toolbox, I may have a place for him in the Holcomb <laughs> workshop. What's the history? Her son got sick with plague a couple years back. Company never gave us enough medication to treat the whole town. So I had to choose, you see. Adelaide's child or someone else's. She's never forgiven me. I don't expect she ever will. What happens now? This whole fiasco is not one I am keen on repeating. I was too hard on my own workers. I pushed them to their breaking point. Good for you. With more hands at the cannery, I expect productivity will rise. I expect we'll grow. And I expect I can ask corporate to send us some more medicine. We'll survive, one way or another. Looks like we got the uh, everything under control. Everything's gone really well. Before we do leave, though, were they discounts, did you say? There's one little gift I want to give Reed before we leave. It does require me to save first before doing this. Because I'm never coming back here. I thought it'd be a fun idea to do 
All right, we're probably best doing it like this. Boom! 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 <laughs> I just did you a favor. A favor? You just made me an accomplice to murdering my boss. I can't. I need to leave. I need to get away from here. I need to get away from you. Uh, this is goodbye, Tete. Uh, determine. You killed Mr. Thompson for talking down his nose at me? You got a real twisted sense of chivalry, you know that? Let's just... Let's just move on. I couldn't forgive myself if I let you loose upon the veil unsupervised. Hello? Really? Really? I actually did it? This actually works? I, I killed the corporate son of a bitch! Corporate! Yeah! Yeah, huh? I love how she's from you, me. Are you safe living across from this place? Sounds like folk here lives hard lives. Maybe so. Yeah, I, I did everyone that. a favor! This is a favor! Come on! Provide is forgiving me, she understands. Right, come on, let's go. It's Bezos' choice. Does everyone hate us now? That's the question. I am wondering what people are going to say when they, when they notice that their leader's dead. How the guards? Got my sights on you. Ah, oh, well, that's just a shame because I just murdered your boss. But it's okay. It's all cool and good because we are out of here. Let's go! I decided to kill them because that's exactly what was going to happen. Um on the original thing I did. So actually in the end that probably was the right thing to do because I should do the decision that I thought I was gonna do. And love hags it. We kept Pavati, which is good because I didn't want to be alone. I mean, worse than being alone. Right, let's turn to the unreliable. Can we just fast travel there? Might just make life so much easier. Unreliable landing site. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be remembered to killing that guy. This game, like, if you kill someone, they don't respawn like like other people. Is this your ship? Oh, my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. I can understand. Not wanting to go back. You didn't see happy in Edwa Edgewater. Well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't. That's why she is I glad I that I killed her. You can say no. But. Alright. Uh, can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? <laughs> oh, God. I'll be glad to. Yeah, go on. Yes. I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. <laughs> That's funny. Well, let's go. Let's go. The ship. We're almost ready to board. And uh, just before we do. Maybe some more upgrades are on the needed card here. We should just repair everything. Oh, we needed some of these. What are they? Oh, we'll get them in the other place. 
Time to go! What can I do for you, Captain? I have the power do regulator! You know how to install a power regulator? Oh, I have engineering, 25. I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you. Across the cargo bay, up the ladders. It's time for liftoff! Did she not come up? There she is. Let's talk to her a second. Yeah, huh? Okay, let's do one more. That's on account of how I never met her. Sorry. It's hard to miss what you never knew. I don't ponder it over much. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. <laughs> She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. That normal? Well, I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Uh, yeah, tell me. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. Lol. I'm not lately seen a man with a bigger or more obvious crush. Are you sure he never fell over when he saw you? The tool he was thinking with was definitely not a wrench. Thomas, always listen to me. Never said I was odd. Never tried to... I just want to think of him like that. Fair enough. Well, it's almost time for liftoff. So let's go. We're done! Everything is ready! Yeah, I'll just jump down. I really don't bother with the ladders. Here we go! What can I do for you, Captain? Captain! Captain Dodo! All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. Let's get out of here! We're going up! And that concludes Outer Worlds! No, it's not done. There's so much more to do yet. We are in We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Right, you know what? This Oh no, right, we have to get through this first. Better be quick. Based on my initial calculations of Dr. Wells's personality. That seems highly unlikely. Oh dear. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Yes. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Uh, I mean, feel a little lightheaded. Never been better. Good. Great. Excellent. Let's move on. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. 
Gladys Kalkelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Uh, why do I need to a nav key to land on a planet? Slow down, you're asking me to get involved with the black market. Or could... Or I could put a couple of light years between me and Halcyon. <laughs> <laughs> Without a skip drive, good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. Oh. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Fine, I'll go with the Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. I put it to good use. Thanks. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. All right. So where are we? We need to oh we need to select the navigation. But yeah guys, that is going to conclude this episode of the Outer Worlds. And I'll tell you what, it's quite nice to know that we are gonna be carrying on with this in a different planet finally. Because I was getting a tad little bored of uh, the first one. But yeah, it's quite nice. Just ruined there's the pie regulator anyway. But yeah, this is great. This is cool. It's a great game. I recommend anyone that you should definitely play it. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And I can't wait to see what this game holds next. But that's going to have to wait just a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.